Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. On this channel, we like to do all things Halloween, witchy, spooky, vegan foods, cat lady stuff, crafting, and of course, chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. So we are unboxing the Witch's Roots for January of 2022 because it's a new year. Oh my goodness. So let's just get into it. Okay, let's see if the theme is goddess of wealth. Hello, I could use some prosperity in the new year. Let's do it. Oh, they have to change the shipping costs. It's an extra dollar. That's nice that they let us know though. So many places just up prices, don't tell you about it. And then you notice it on your credit card bill and you're like, excuse me, where did that go? <laughs> so let's see. I have no idea what this says. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I, oh, oh no, La, Laksh, oh, Lakshmi? It's talking about a particular goddess. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, goddess of wealth. I wonder if this is her. Oh my gosh, I'm just not putting that together. She's a, one of the primary Hindu goddesses, goddess of abundance and prosperity, especially wealth, fortune, power, and beauty. Okay, and this beautiful artwork. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Again, artwork always impresses me. So we're having, oh my gosh, what does this say? Cascara Sagrada? What in the world is this? I have never heard of this. Maybe it's a, an herb that grows in India or something? No, California to British Columbia, east to Montana Rocky Mountains. I have never heard of this before. Well, its association is earth. Other names, let me read the other names. Maybe we've heard of it by something else. We have. Bearwood, Bearberry, California Buckthorn, Bitterbark, Cascara, Cascara Buckthorn, Bark Wahoo, Chitticum, Christthorn, Holy Bark, Persian Bark, Sacred Bark, Yellow Bark. I've never heard of this. This is really interesting. I wanna, I'm gonna actually kind of scroll this. If you guys wanna pause and read any of this, because this is like something I, again, never heard of. There's a lot of information on here about origins and associations, what it is typically used for. So definitely feel free to pause and read as I move it. Okay, cool, I'm excited. I love being exposed to something completely new. So that's interesting. All right, so we have our oil. Let me unwrap this for us. I will say I just um, did an unboxing for Mindful Souls, couldn't remember the name of it. I just did an unboxing for Mindful Souls and I will say I was really impressed with all their packaging. All of it was either reusable, compostable, or recyclable. So opening these, it does make me sad when there's like plastic. I get it, they need to cushion these, but I, I do feel like there's probably a more uh, environmentally friendly way to do that. Makes me sad now looking at this after opening that, which again, if you've watched that one, I think it was probably uploaded before this one. That's why I'm in the same outfit. Um, got my amethyst point. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get caught up because, you know, I was sick a good bit of December and January. I'm trying to get caught up on all the unboxings. That's why there might be a little bit more frequent upload than normal. Enjoy, I suppose, <laughs> because it won't always be like that. But, um, all right, here's, here's our oil. It's called Goddess of Prosperity. Straight to the point. Smell now that I can smell again. <laughs> Ooh, it smells very floral, like floral and clean, like floral laundry, floral clean laundry. Let's see what the oil says. It has with basil, almond, cinnamon, ginger, and cedarwood oils. Also included calendula and basil herbs. Maybe it's the basil, almond, cinnamon, ginger. You also see a quartz crystal. Interesting. That's a, a fun combination of stuff. Get the Ginger, I think I do get the cinnamon, cinnamon and basil. I think it's just, it smells like there's very con contrasting herbs or oils in there. And so it's like your brain is trying to figure out what's happening because 
is some interesting combinations. Anyway, okay, this video is gonna be a million years long. Jenny, stay on topic. Ooh, looks like we have a little statue. Let me open this up. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. The details on this. Hopefully it'll focus. Look at all the details that it's on this beautiful flower. Wow, she's holding some flowers. They almost look like artichokes. Maybe that's that flower. Maybe it just looks like artichokes. This is gorgeous. So this is gonna be our, our goddess of wealth. So it's the Lakshmi statue. She's also known as Sri, one of the most beloved goddesses in the Hindu pantheon. She represents and holds the power of wealth, fortune, beauty, and abundance. Known as the sacred goddess of merchants, she bestows wonderful kindness to those that call upon her. It's said that she sprinkles it is said that she sprinkles lotus petals on your path to remind you of the sweetness of life. In addition to being the goddess of wealth, she provides relief during times of stress, fear, and panic. As you welcome Lakshmi into your practice, allow her kind and beautiful energies to relieve your worries so you're able to focus on your intentions on truly beneficial purposes. I love this so much. I think all of us could use a little bit of Lakshmi energy then, especially in times of a continuing pandemic. I think she's perfect. Uh, I will probably put her on my altar or maybe I'll find another like special little prosperity altar. I do have a little prosperity thing going on another table. So maybe I'll put her next to that. But she is a beautiful reminder, I think then of just being more present and mindful of your day and just enjoying the little things. That's what I'm getting from this as well. So I love that so much. All right, we have our stone. This looks, I was gonna say quartz, but it's kind of yellowy. It's almost like citrine, but not completely citrine. Got some little like rutilation in there. Interesting, let's see what this is. Ah, it is citrine. Okay, it's just a very, very light yellow citrine an abundant and wonderful manifestation stone. So maybe I'll put those two together right next to my other little prosperity work going. Is one of our favorite allies while working to strengthen our personal will, creativity, and mental clarity. Also known to be a prosperity stone. Citrine acts as an energy generator, attracting the results of manifestation into your life. As you work with citrine, allow its energies to revitalize your thoughts and emotions, bringing clarity to your psychic sight. Elemental association is fire. I get that. The oomph that like, we're going to make things happen. <laughs> it's your drive. Oh, I love this so much. Those are going to be a great little combination to have near each other. Our candle. These candles, I always say they're great for ritual. I used um, a couple of them for my like Yule log kind of ritual. So they were perfect size for that. So we have our nice yellow. And again, these are beeswax. So they burn really well. They're also very um, environmentally conscious and friendly, which I appreciate. All right, so let's see what it says. Uh, we have hand rolled this golden aura mini spell candle with the intention of enhancing the visualization you have of the energies around you. As you allow the flame to dance before you, visualize a golden orb growing in size around you. This represents your spiritual magnet, attracting the energies of prosperity and abundance. Work to incorporate this small ritual into your daily workings for the coming months. I love that. I love a good visualization thing. I think it's really, really, <laughs> I think it's really, really beneficial in getting you in a good mental place as well. So visualizing whatever it is you're working towards or something you really want, I think visualizing it will help you manifest it. A little candle to help oomph that whole situation as well. We got our incense that just says soul. So I'm gonna assume sun. Whoa. What is that smell? That is so, uh, oh wow. And they never tell us what's in these anymore. Oh, I, I recognize that. That reminds me of like a particular wood I have smelt in a cabin while like on a school trip in sixth grade. Do you guys get memories like that? Just some little smell triggers a memory from like 
20 years ago or something. Probably it was longer than 20 years ago. I'm getting, I'm getting to that age, y'all. Get that age. Um, let's just see. It says, this fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within the collection to bring light and warmth into your sacred space. As you allow the smoke from this incense to waft throughout your space, take a deep and intentional breath. Mm, I love it. You know, I love these incense. I'm actually burning one right behind me from, I believe it's our December box. So I love it. All right, and we have the Cascara Sagrada. Oh my God, there's so many small little things. This is our herb. Come on. And it looks very tree barky. So maybe that's where I'm getting like the tree smell from the incense if they're using a bit of this as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that that's so nostalgic. Of some wood, obviously it's this wood. Maybe I've smelled this before. Didn't know it was around me. What else, what is this called? Better bark. But it's not around. It's California to British Columbia, east to Montana Rocky Mountains. I am very far east from any of that. So how would I have smelled this before? I don't know, but I was in California for a camping thing a few years ago. So maybe it's that I'm remembering. Wow, how, how, how lovely, cool. And that was an expensive trip. So maybe this. <laughs> <laughs> is bringer of wealth can help repay well the trip's paid off but you know intentions i guess okay so that is all of the box so we have our our wood nostalgic <laughs> herb we have our soul incense our candle our goddess of wealth oil our lakshmi statue and our citrine tumbled stone in addition to both of our artworks which are beautiful i love this box it's, they always continue to surprise me with what they do each month you know like sometimes it feels like you would expect to get basically the same thing kind of over and over but just like a different herb used so this one is really really nice and it's a little bit different um we haven't gotten any sort of like altar statue anything i think in a long time so this is really really nice um, and I love the intention of this, you know, the beginning of the year, we're all making sort of resolutions and that kind of thing. And I think, especially when it comes financially, you're like, I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to, I'm going to set some goals. I'm going to make it happen. Um, for me, financial stuff is a big one of those. So, uh, I think this feels very timely and I really like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. If you did, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like these kind of things, please do feel free to subscribe. I'd love love to have you. I do also have a Patreon down below if you want to click the link for that and get more information that would help me continue to make these kind of videos. I always appreciate that kind of support as well. Yeah, I hope you, everyone is doing wonderful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.